Hi, my name is uh, Aaron Chanelli. This is my wife, Heather Chanelli. Kind of just want to set the record straight as far as a terrifying event that happened to our family over Christmas as we were vacation, uh, vacationing in Ireland. So when we got home, we were trying to find some information, an article, a video of what happened in the city center of Dublin. And we came across an article and as we read it and we read the comments, sadly, the comments were either A, the event never happened or B, it was a race-based situation and we caused it. Um, my family is a white, a white family of four and the incident involved the four of us and a large amount of black teenagers. We finished our trip up um, after seeing Ireland uh, in Dublin. We, as a family, decided that we wanted to go eat at a certain restaurant. I've got a 17-year-old son, a 15-year-old daughter. We made our way out into the city center, walking down, uh, making sure that we could make it to time at the restaurant. When we got down there, we found out that the restaurant was closed. So we decided to regroup as a family, go back up to our hotel, and figure out where we wanted to spend our last night. So as we were heading back towards the hotel, we, on our way to the restaurant, we acknowledged that there were a large group of kids. So on the way back, we realized they're gathering a little bit more and more. So as we started walking down the street, they started running. Um, at that point, I think we realized there were probably close to 100, maybe more. So we got in a tighter group and they all went running by, walking by, whatever. Um, one of the kids bumped shoulders with my husband, grabbed his arm, and asked him, who does he think he is running into him? At that point, my son stepped in, pushed, broke the hold, and pushed my husband and the other kid away and told everybody to keep moving. At that point, his words were returned with hits. You know, the only thing I could think was, you know, my son sitting there fighting for his life amongst all these, uh, you know, black youth that were, were in the mix up. Um, they're essentially waylaying on me. Uh, quite frankly, all hell is breaking loose. There was at one point in time during this uh, terrifying event that my son and I are pinned up against one of the entrances to one of the retailers there. I'm doing my best as a father trying to, uh, you know, shelter him and, and protect him by taking all the hits myself. And I just knew that at that point in time, had we gone down to the ground, we weren't making it up. They were going to uh, harm us either, either, either more severely or kill us. Uh, at that point in time, my wife uh, is, is pretty hysterical asking, pleading for help. So as I'm asking everybody for help, all I keep thinking was, we're not getting out of this. Um, one of the kids came up and asked me what was wrong, promised to help me when I explained that his friends were beating my husband. Um, that, that teenager that asked me what was wrong was a black teenager as well. H him and his two friends took off running, promised they'd help. And by the time me and my daughter found them two blocks up, those kids were there helping them. They got beat up in the midst of it, trying to, to rescue people they didn't know. Um, I just couldn't envision, before it was all over, we weren't coming home. We weren't coming home as a family of four. At no time did they hurt my daughter in the mix, but I don't know what stopped them from doing that, other than maybe they didn't see her. <laughs> Look, I ended up going to the hospital, getting four stitches to close the wound underneath my eye. Uh, and then we made our, our, our way out of Ireland. Uh, I am, was glad to be back in America. Uh, you know, this whole entire event is, was extremely terrifying to both uh, my daughter and my son. The fact that, look, we were walking up the street and for no reason at all got brutally, brutally attacked, um, quite frankly, by a, a group of young black people. Uh, you know, it is, um, I'm grateful to, uh, the news organization liberal.ie for covering this, uh, for speaking the truth when no one else um, has the decency or honesty to speak the truth. I'm very grateful to Under Armour for replacing uh, one of the garments that I was wearing that, that got destroyed that my daughter had given to me for Christmas. Um, and we just wanted our side of the story to be known. And um, again, thank you to uh, the website uh, for posting this story and, and being truthful. So thank you.